Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a match against Atletico Madrid and Crystal Palace. Um, hopefully they'll go nice and quick. Now, I have no idea what is going on with all of this. Um, we've actually had a very good run, but I don't know what's... I can't remember if these are losses or not because this was played a couple of days ago. Uh, basically, Shakhtar, we got their first win in the Champions League. Very happy about that. I don't remember losing to Manchester United. I thought we won against them 1-0. But this is showing away from home as 1-0 to them. So I don't know what's going on that. Um, we also had a League Cup match. I Leicester, we drew. West Ham, I think we did lose, maybe? I don't remember. But the thing is, when you click on it, it's Manchester United and Fulham. That doesn't help me at all. And any of them, uh, Burnley, Fulham, Fulham, oh, finally Fulham, Liverpool, uh, no, Porto and uh, Mönchengladbach, blah, blah, blah. but so I have no idea what's going on, but today Madrid and Crystal Palace. So one thing I forgot to tell you and one thing I'm noticing, if I go to season, tactical standings, you could see this is how, f I'm assuming this is how familiar the club is to the tactics that I'm, I've created. Uh, so you can see. A lot of distribution in corners and crosses, short and corner boxes are still under 50%, which is not great. Um, distance shots is not great at 19. So these are the things that I'm I'm kind of thinking I need to, to really deal with in training. So short distributions and corners and all that, corner boxes, I've been trying to increase that as best as possible um, if that's the tactic we're going to go with. I do need tactical help. Uh, let's see, I can't boost anything. Get into the game and get into the actual screens. I hate that you can't go back to that screen. I like that intro screen, but then you go forward and then you can't get back to it. And blah. now, one thing I want to look at the stat center. You can see Liverpool 13 matches, 22 goals, four, nine against. I'm going to assume goal differential 13, eight, two, and we've lost three. But if we go to results here, away from home, nil one. There we go. We get that. Um, one, two. So we did win that. Where did we lose? Oh, that's right. Sheffield uh, or uh, Leeds we lost and then West Brom we lost. So we've, I mean, we've got a good run. Again, it's not great. But so this is the stat center. This is the screen that we should be seeing. Unfortunately, the previous one, when you go, I've got something flying in my face. When you go to Liverpool and you go to season, still says Manchester United away from home, uh, one nil. I don't know why, I, again, there's bugs in this. That is something that really needs to be sorted out. I really would love a, a result screen on here. You have the opponents, the fixture list here, but I'm not seeing any kind of, um, any results. And that's what I wanna see. If you could do like a split screen and say, hey, do you wanna see fixtures or do you wanna see results? I don't know. But you can see Liverpool, Arsenal finally coming up to 25th. Uh, we're on 26 points there on 25th. Southampton's finally starting to slow down. 23rd, Fulham at 22. So that's rounding out the Champions League positions right now after 13 matches. Damn. Uh, so apparently they want me to invest money, do sport, which I still don't know what the hell that means, and give a contract, or uh, giving Janto Jones a contract. So we're going to see what that's all about. Um, I'm always going to study the player market simply because... I mean, that's the the best way to increase your, I guess it's scouting, uh, I guess, reach and potential. So Greece and who was it? Greece and Belgium. So we'll, we'll get that done. I feel stressed. Apparently, as your health goes down, it becomes problematic. I haven't seen it yet. I don't really care. Uh, I don't know why I'm stressed. It's not telling me why I'm stressed. But current bonus is a manager upgrade. Motivation ends with the next defeat. So this is kind of where I'm starting to take the training that is set out at the very beginning of the week where you say, what kind of training do you want to do? And you'll set it to whatever you want. Uh, and then I'll just go in and take a look at this. So our counters are down. Um, so we're doing counter pressing. I, I see if that works. Distance shots. I'm going to start working on distance shots here. Offside traps. We've got it here. Um, so we'll see how this works, uh, and we'll get into the match. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can do when you've got two games a week. Still kind of a pain in the ass, but... So this is the negotiation page. 
Uh, it's one I still can't stand. I so much prefer the FM version of this. Uh, but signing fee, so as you go down, or as you start making changes, the negotiating points will start going down. Um, and you've got four rounds of negotiations before they either say F you or yes, let's go with that. So if I want to give them a 3.2 million signing fee, basic salary of 1.8 million, 1.5, negotiate. Uh, so apparently that's not too bad. This would be acceptable terms for me. 60% interest, 60 level interest, sign contract, no idea. But I guess that worked. Uh, in my signings of... Madison and Odegaard, Odegaard and others, it they basically didn't allow me to do anything. You know, I would bring it down, negotiate. They're like, nope. Okay, I'll bring it up a little. Negotiate. Nope. And it's not even that they're negotiating, if I'm remembering correctly. It's not that, okay, you want a $3.5 million contract. I'm willing to give you 3.2. And it's not like they're saying, okay, well, we don't want that. We want, how about 3.4? And then three point, you know, three, and then you meet somewhere in the middle. But it was just like, nope, I don't want that. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Okay, so Champions League first group stage. Uh, we are heading into the end of this group stage. I got to figure out my team. The problem I've been having is tired legs. Um, I've been trying to give people, t you know, days off, games off. So Virgil is out with what? He's an in. He's what? When was he injured? I missed that. That would have been also nice, kind of a, a splash screen saying, hey, by the way, your star player is injured. Uh, that's a bitch. So Matip will come in for Upamakano. Um, why is, oh, Matip's 85, 68. Yeah, Trent is always exhausted, as is Robertson. So I have to really deal with them very closely. And it's, it is kind of a pain. It's a lot worse than it is in FM. So this is the team that we've got. We've got Allison and goal, Robertson, Matip, Gomez, and Alexander-Arnold in the back four. Fabinho, Thiago, and Madison up in the midfield. Mane, Firmino, and Salah up top. No real changes there. What's really funny, though, is after you kind of update the, the squad a little, um, if the assistant does... Sometimes the assistant will go in and automatically do something, and I don't know why. And this will be completely changed around. Mane will be at, at Robertson's position. Um, you know, Fabinho and Hendo will be in the, the back four. It makes zero sense. I don't know why it happened, but I can't seem to recreate it. Um, so I just have to basically start from scratch and go back to the beginning. Uh, but this is the team that we're going with. We are still doing this. If you can figure out, please, as an American who doesn't know jack about formations and tactics, what can I change to make this a lot heavier of a, a blowout? Um, instead of drawing nil-nil or winning 1-0, one, one how can I make this to just be more of a blowout session? Uh, I really want to start smoking some of these teams. Granted, Madrid is a fantastic team in general, but in this game, anything's really possible. So as we start out, I have been told that there are tactic changes that you can make um, on a team-by-team -team basis, and it's not really starting out too well in the seventh minute, uh, that you can just blow through a season and kick the crap out of every single team. Um, I have been, I've read that. I don't know how to do it. And it's, it seems like it's a, both a tactic and a training issue. Um, I think I have the training somewhat sorted. It's the tactics that I need help with. So dribbling with Koke, Diego Costa. Thank God it's away. It's off. And why? What was happening, guys? What are we not doing? There we go. Matip with a long pass. Long passes are huge in this. Fabinho, Thiago passes through to Mane, crosses over to Firmino, shots! And the shot is off, uh, unfortunately. Well, we're in the final minute. Matip with the last chance up to Wijnaldum, dribbling up, passes it to Firmino, and uh, this screen, yeah, we know. Henderson, shots, awful shot to end the game. Nil-nil. So how uh, how did you feel after a game like that? Happiness? No. So I'm changing things up slightly for this match. Allison in goal. Costas comes in. Van Dyke is back. Uh, Matip and Alexander are all in the back four. Fabinho, Winaldo comes in. Madison in the midfield. And then Mane Sala and Origi to come in for, Fabi for Firmino, who is just not doing all that well. So this is the lineup that we're going to do. 
I still don't know. Should I take different chances with things? Uh, pressing frequently, tenacious. Let's take a look at that and see what happens. Now this is Crystal Palace, 17th place. They are not doing well. Last five is three draws and two losses. So hopefully we can do something. Um, can we go cautiously offensive? Nope. <laughs> Ferguson, Van Anholt, McCarthy. They're coming up the pitch. I don't like it. Crosses into Bacuayi, and it's a goal. That sucks. Goal is being checked, though. No goal! Still, should not have happened, but Van Dyke passes up to Wijnaldum. Dribbling, center pitch. Passes it to Mane. Dribbling up. Passes to Madison. Shots! Nope. Unfortunately, so. Free kick for Virgil, though. Good location. Awful shot. And this is where the... Um, Costas with a corner. Look. <laughs> Not a great corner. Um, Fabinho Matip. Pass it to Salah. Why are my defensive people so far forward? It's crazy. But then immediately Van, uh, Van Dyke to Alexander Arnold. Winald and Salah. Long pass over to Mane. Damn, these long passes. Madison into Fabinho. Crosses it over for Origi. 2 0. So maybe cautiously offensive. Nope. Video is being checked. What's happened? I've actually seen VAR in this game. Where's the center? What? Wait, what? So yes? Missed that. Um, but VAR is very... It's not one side or the other. It's very mixed in there. Um, I've gotten a lot of different... <laughs> a lot of different results in that one. Allison able to make the save, though. 2-0. I... This is... it. I don't know. Salah's got an 8 on the mat on the day and a goal. And it's... You know, you're thinking... You've been doing fantastic. I'm just, no, I'm just okay. And then Van Dyke, who's got a seven rating so far, and he's like, "Yeah, I agree. I've been playing okay, not fantastic, but okay." Van Dyke gets his second goal of the season, assisted by Mate. So my defenders are finally kicking in. Uh, again, this is Crystal Palace. I don't know what this would do against Man City or Man United or Chelsea or something like that. But so far, three 0 I'm enjoying this match a little more. Tottenham was fantastic, wasn't it? So in all of them, up to Salah, to Madison, Fabinho, I mean, it, it goes in patterns, I will say. Heads it, Origi with the second goal of the season. Uh, it definitely goes in, in patterns where you're coming up the side, you're kind of crossing it over and then mix in. I don't know why I'm doing both at the same time, but. Mane to Madison, to Fabinho, over to Origi. Oh, did that say bicycle kick or? Nope. So far as the player of the match. Let's make some subs. So I've made five substitutions. Um, Jota, Shakiri, Odegaard, Hendo, and Gomez comes in. Just because I can. I don't like the five sub rule. If I don't know why there's a fifth sub. Um, I thought there was still only three or maybe four. Fosu Mensa is on Crystal Palace. I didn't realize that. So, I've made the first five sub in, in I've, I've ever done. It's stupid. So, header back to Benteke. Wow, Benteke scores against his former team. But still, 4-1. With one final attack, it's 89th minute. Jota is offsides. Jota. Jota is offsides. 90th minute. Free kick to Shakiri. And into Van Dyke. Overhead kick. Over, why are you doing an overhead kick? Dude, you're like seven feet tall. No need to do that. Uh, so uh, the unlucky match of the game, or the unlucky team of the week is Fulham. No, oh, the lucky team of the week is Aston Villa. So Divock is our only person in team of the week. However, I forgot. See, again, I would love to go back because I missed what they said about our players. Um, something about attitude being fantastic. New record. Matches uh, not lost. Nine. And then Greece is now the network has been extended. So that's what you do. You kind of build out everything. Joe Party, Paul Glatzel. Okay, that's it. And then we're back to the start of the next week. So this is where I was talking about what's your training focus this week. Defensive play, passing, wing play, all that. Um, I always do next match. It's just the way I roll. 
the way I roll. But that does it for me. Uh, a win and a draw. So, I mean, the Champions League. I don't know what it is in the Champions League. I'm, I am I don't know if it's just the game saying, hey, Champions League is going to be a little harder, so let's bump it up a notch. Um, but we're steamrolling the Premier League, for the time being at least. Hopefully I'll come back sometime in December or January and we'll see how it goes. So that has been me, Sefian FM. As always, take care and enjoy.